braving uncertain weather, over a million racegoers throng Epsom Downs for the 169th running of the world's greatest racing classic, the Derby. Forty-seater buses jostle four-seater baby saloons. Baby pearly princesses accompany full-sized pearly queens. That famous racing prince, the Aga Khan, is accompanied by his attractive Began. Epsom presents, as ever, a cosmopolitan cross-section of the whole world. Films are represented by a generous, familiar smile. Art turns up to find the meaning of it all. Against this background are the tens of thousands of ordinary folk using a well-earned day to place an honest half-dollar with those innocent philanthropists, the bookies. The King, the Princess Royal, Princess Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh make their way to the paddock to look over the horses whose names are household words for this one day of the year. The little men, whose names are even better known, move towards their mounts. Best known of all is Gordon Richards, astride the second favourite, the cobbler number 19. Excitement rises as the runners get out onto the course. It's a day for long shots. Ten days of rain have drenched the turf, and the morning wind and burst of sunshine have dried the surface. The crowd gets a blast of last-minute advice. There's a final punter's rush. Top-hatted Leslie Firth is almost ready. It's one last moment full of suspense for a million racegoers. Thirty-two horses are lined up. They're set. And they're off. Off on a mile and a half test for the biggest prize in racing history. Two of them are left behind already, but the others race on uphill with the derby roar to cheer them on. Settling down from a good start, the second biggest field in derby history faces the slope. Outsider Henley and Arden and white banded Tommy make the running closely followed by Ottoman and Blue Fall. Flashing past the seven furlong post, they're coming into the first bend. Tommy, the film world's horse with a white nose band, is in the lead, but only just. Henley and Arden is still there, and coming up a Royal Drake, My Babu and the Cobbler. The winner is still anybody's guess. On Tattenham Corner they come, and this is where the race tells, and stamina comes into its own. Gordon Richards and the cobbler drop back. Francis Royal Drake is closing in on Tommy. And now, the French horse takes the lead, and it's Royal Drake with Parisian jockey Doyle's beer up, who's in front, as the horses thunder into the straight. Downhill on the last lung-bursting furlong, the English bred horses have fallen behind, and the duel now is between two French thoroughbreds, Royal Drake and the Aga Khan's My Love. Just look at that horse, My Love. Overtaking his rival, he goes past the post winner by one and a half lengths, with Royal Drake second, making the French derby triumph complete. For the second year in succession, a horse from across the channel has pulled off racing's top classic and taken out of Britain 13,000 pounds. For jockey Bill Johnston, it's his first ever derby win. For the Aga Khan, it's his fourth Epsom victory. And for my love's backers, odds of 100 to 9 have come off.